This is one of the core questions of the Day of Judgment, and to understand this chess game, we must clearly distinguish between the bullet and the gun. An atomic bomb is the bullet, the explosive warhead. It is typically a type of freefall bomb that aircraft must fly to and drop. But the missile carrying the atomic warhead is the gun, an unmanned delivery system. Most modern nuclear weapons are warheads placed atop an intercontinental ballistic missile, ICBM, submarine-launched missile, or stealth cruise missile. The question is not, can the U.S. fight against Russia and China? The real question is, can the U.S. stop them? Because a full-scale nuclear war cannot have a winner, it is an act of collective suicide. And the answer is, yes, the U.S. can. America's strength is to ensure the doctrine of mutually assured destruction, MAD, a simple promise. If you attack me, I may be dead, but I will certainly take you down with me. The U.S. guarantees that promise with its invulnerable nuclear triad. These are the land-based ICBM fortresses like Sentinel, always ready to respond within minutes. These are the airborne ghosts, the B-2 and B-21 fleets capable of dropping stealth bombs or launching LRSO cruise missiles from afar. And most importantly, if just one of these submarines survives, it carries Trident D-5 missiles capable of wiping out an entire continent. This is the assured retaliatory weapon. But the U.S. is not the only one with a triad. Russia is the only power on par with the U.S. They also have a triad, and their weapons are extremely formidable, especially the monster Sarmat Sand and the hypersonic avant-garde glide vehicle, a weapon that flies at speeds of Mach 20-plus and can evade interception, making it impossible to stop. Russia's trump card is its vast stockpile of tactical nuclear weapons, which they could use to escalate a conflict in Europe. And then there is China, the storm that is awakening. Over the past decade, they have plunged into the arms race at breakneck speed. They are building over 300 new ICBM silos. They have the DF-41 mobile missile on trucks, extremely difficult to find and destroy. And they have the Type 095 submarine fleet with the new JL-3 missiles, for the first time allowing Beijing to target the entire U.S. from their safe waters. China's trump card is the hypersonic carrier killer missiles, weapons designed to win a conventional war before it can escalate into a nuclear war.